Failing is just as inevitable as taxes and death. I mean, if you think about it, it's an unwavering, unmovable force that always stands in our path towards personal growth and professional growth. But it's what you do with that fear that speaks volumes to the person that you want to become. In this episode, we're going to talk about failure and its little friend fear that kind of tags along and wants to be part of the journey. Uh, and how fear and failure kind of go coincide with your business and how your business can benefit from these fears and these failures that you know you're inevitably going to be coming across during your journey as a business owner. So if you're a startup or if you are a business that's just maybe a couple of years old, you understand the pitfalls, the, 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 the hardship that happens when it comes to starting something like your own business. But before we dive into today's episode, guys, if this is your first time visiting my channel, greatly appreciate it if you hit that like, subscribe, notification bell, so you can be notified of all things as I create them. All right, so let's begin on how failure creates a positive change within your business. I mean, it's really easy to become angry and somber towards the things that we fail at. No one wants to fail. We always want to succeed. We want to be on the top of our field, the top of our game. It's just human nature. That's what we want to strive to do. And with our own businesses, when we decide to leave our jobs and to create something that we uh, value as a career, we take a leap of faith. And what falls along with that leap, oh, it's, it's fear. It's a ton of fear. I've been there when I started mine. It's like, why did I quit this job? Am I doing the right thing? It's a leap of faith. It's fear. It's the fear of failing. It just comes with the package. So your business thrives on the experiences that failure provides you. You know what I mean? It grooms your business into understanding the processes and the procedures that you have set in place. How else are you going to know how those, those elements within your business work if you didn't fail in creating them in the first place? The first iteration didn't work. All right, let's move on. The second iteration didn't work. All right, let's tweak this a little bit. You fail each time, but those experiences lead to growth and opportunity within the things that you need to do to make your business successful. And the funny thing is you just do. You take the leap of faith, you take the bull by the horns, but, like, but the key word is you just do. And to quote Yoda, that's right, I'm quoting Yoda, do or do not, there is no try. There's so much truth to that especially with us as entrepreneurs, you know, we do, you know, it's just, he hit it right on the head without even knowing it. Man, I think, I think Yoda was an entrepreneur in his past life. Who knows, right? But what if you fear failing? Then what, what do you do? Does that fear inhibit your ability to be motivated, to create something that you know is there and that could be a valuable use to your audience? Here's the thing about fear that I wanna go into, okay? Fear is nothing more than false belief. It's a fear that we're gonna fail at something before we even try it. That's what it is. And the thing about your business is you may be an amazing salesman, right? You may be this just fantastic man that can sell me a pen. But if I ask you to speak in public, it changes. That's where your fear is. There are many little facets of our business that we strive in and that what we fear. And it's, it's, it's funny when you think about it, like public speaking, for example, if you and I were at a coffee shop, right, a non-professional environment, and I ask you, hey, what do you do for a living? You're gonna talk about your business backwards and forwards. You're gonna tell me all the crazy details, right? Everything. But if I slide a camera in place, what are you gonna do? You're gonna have the deer in headlights. You're not gonna know what to do. You're not gonna know what to say. What do I do with my hands? Oh my gosh, do I look okay? And there's the false belief. Before you even do anything, you are going to take yourself out of the moment, out of something that could lead into something even more important and, and, and you never know, it might turn into a secondary career, something, something else. But unless you try, you'll never know. It's all about perception. It's how we perceive ourselves. We are our own worst critics. I mean, I don't like the way my voice sounds on, on a voicemail. I think it's too high. I sound like someone from like the Bee Gees or something. But you know, that's just me. Yet again, it's perception. I may sound fine to you, but to me, I sound like the Bee Gees. <laughs> but that's the thing about failure, right? It humanizes us. It keeps our egos in check. That's a brilliant thing about it. Like I said, failure is positive. Failure and fear is not negative in any way. It's a path that leads you down the road of opportunity. And so when it goes to the whole uh, notion of speaking in front of the camera, right? We fear because when we're speaking in public, we can see the reactions of the audience. 
Now, when you look in the camera, all you see is a shiny little lens and you can't see the reaction. So what is your mind going to do? It's going to play tricks on you. It's going to be like, wow, are they uh, really paying attention to me? Uh, do, do I, uh, or do they think I dress bad? Oh my gosh, is my background wrong? Oh my gosh, I said the wrong word. You know what I mean? you're gonna start going down this rabbit hole of negative, uh, just negative train of thoughts because you perceive yourself one way when really it's another. So you gotta understand it's okay to fail. So if you get anything out of this guys, lean on fear, lean on failure because it definitely is success in training. You're gonna adapt, you're gonna get better at the things you do. It's all about consistency, perception, and just doing, you know what I mean? You wanna try to be better on camera do it. Set up your camera. Do some tests. Talk about things that are not even about your business. Talk about your favorite movie. And in turn, the more you get used to how you structure the way you talk, the more they get used to looking at this lens, the easier it's going to be down the road when you have to talk about your product, your service, your team, whatever it may be. But it all boils down to learning and adapting to this beautiful, wonderful thing called failure.